bring the flap to the balance point and, and try and set it at the lowest point where it will stay. Once you have it there, then using one finger to kind of mark where you are in space and take your second finger and push until the flap pops open. What you're looking for is a, a gap between the tip of this finger and the tip of this finger of an inch or less. And what we're doing here is making sure the flap is free to operate so it's not binding as you open and close it. With the flap in the balance position, you want to check how much clearance there is between the uh, pedal and it bottoming out. So I'm going to push by hand. And you can see I'm able to push down uh, fairly firm and able to get it to contact right here, which is the bottom out position. That's, that's as low as you would like to have the pedal, and it's, it's about right because you want the pedal to bottom out before all the pressure goes on the cable itself. So that's a pretty good spot right there. If I needed to change the height of this pedal, what I would do is come in here with these adjusting nuts, and if I go ahead and, and take that front nut, and I'm just going to loosen it up this way and show you with, with that play in there. So now, with the, uh, with the pedal in the down position, if I pull this, if I pull this cable so I'm against that front nut, you see what's happening to the pedal? So it's actually raising up. So I can adjust the height of that pedal by where these nuts are positioned. So if I wanted to raise it up a little bit, I would spin this nut off some and bring the back nut up to tighten it, and that would put it in this position. Um, but that's going to be too tall. Uh, I've got too much clearance here. So what I want to do is go ahead and spin that nut back down. And I can, and I can give the back nut just a turn or two to, to bring it up just a little bit. But I don't want to bring it up very much. Now we have everything in place, we have the uh, pedal height adjusted. Well, what we want to do is go ahead and, and secure these nuts so that it doesn't move around on us. So I lift this up out of the way. And, and once again, these don't have to be super tight, just enough that they don't come loose in operation. So we've got this one done, and then uh, we want to go ahead and do the other end. Make sure the jam nuts are tight on the flap end as well. Again, they don't have to be over tightened and be sure that the boot is pushed in place. We want to test the uh, spring tension to make sure that it's uh, correct for operating the flap. So what we'll do is we'll balance, bring it just to the lower balance position and now we're going to go back and step on the pedal which is going to be in the down position and when we step on it we're going to observe what happens which way the flap moves. Does it move up a little bit? Does it move down a little bit? Or does it stay exactly where it is? So you can see when I, when I stepped on it, it, it crept forward or crept toward the open position just a little bit and now it's stuck. No matter how many times I push on the pedal, I can't get it to move. And it finally kicks over. So in this particular case, we have too much spring tension here. So we need to release some of that to allow it, when I step on that pedal, we want it to pull toward the closed position. So in order to adjust that spring, what you're going to need is a uh, wrench and then a, a pair of pliers to grab the end of this bolt. And in this case, we've got too much tension because it's trying to pull it to the open position. So what I want to do is, is release some of that tension. So I'm going to back the nut off. So let's try it there. You can kind of pay attention to the, the gap here. Usually if it's a thumb's width or so, it's about right. But let's, let's just see how this one works. So once again, we're going to put it to the balance position. So as I'm pushing on the pedal, I'm not, I'm not getting it to move anywhere. So I still, don't, I still have too much tension on the, uh, on the spring. So I'm going to back it off a little bit farther. So here we are about a thumb's width. To the balance position. So 
so after repeatedly tapping on it, I'm able to get it to go ahead and go to the closed position. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good spring tension spot. Uh, keep in mind that as you start mowing in that, you're going to get dirt and grass on here, so it's going to make this a little heavier, which will make it a little bit easier to fall to the closed position.